Hi, and welcome to Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to play with the color extractor. And we'll start in 10 seconds. As always, before I start today's video, I have to thank all the members who have joined my YouTube channel. Thank you all for your support. And also thanks to everybody who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. Thank you. And now let's get started with today's video. If I'm not mistaken, a couple of years ago, it may be even 10 years ago, Philips introduced a new product called Ambilight in the TVs. There are of course alternatives to that and some people are using Hyperion for that. You may check out the video from Everything Smart Home and the link is down in the description of this video. And if you are like me and you are unable to intercept the signal from your TV anywhere and you want to have simple solution that is already built inside Home Assistant, well, there is one and it's called Color Extractor inside Home Assistant. What Color Extractor does? Color Extractor waits for the external URL on the Chromecast type devices. It checks the image, sees what color is predominant and then turns the LED on and adjust both brightness to whatever percentage you specify and color to the one that best matches the YouTube video you are playing. There are a lot of limitations to this system, but it works. And it is already in Home Assistant and you don't need any additional hardware except of course for color LED. For the purposes of this video, I will be using WLED strip that's hooked up to Dig Uno or Dig Uno, how I call them and it will be checking my Love TV Chromecast status or what is showing to change the colors. So let's start configuring it. First things first, we have to go to Visual Studio Code. You can of course use any editor that you normally use. Let's go to Configuration YAML file and somewhere in it just type following color extractor. The next step is to reboot the system, because we will not be able to use the internal automations auditor until the service is activated. If you are creating your automations in automation.yml file directly, you can create it now and just later on restart the system. Let me go to configuration, server control, check configuration and restart. While the system is starting up, we can go already to configuration, automations, and we can add new automation. I'll start with empty automation and we'll call it loft TV to LED light. For this, we have to change trigger type to state. Let's select here my loft TV. And for the actions, service color extractor dot turn on and we will now go to YAML editor edit in YAML and add a couple of lines that are mandatory we need to start with data template for the next line you have two options you can either use path for file that is located somewhere or URL and call that URL in my case since the trigger will be my Chromecast I will be using the URL Let's type here color extract URL. And as I mentioned, the other option, if you are using file that is somewhere, you use here instead path. And I will paste here code from the documentation on the Home Assistant website, but we need to adapt it to our device. My media player is called Loft TV. So let's see what this color extractor URL does. It looks for the state in the media player Loft TV entity, attributes entity picture. If there is attribute called entity picture, it will call that URL and pull the image. When it pulls the image, it will analyze it and change the color according to that image. Once again, you can use path here if you are using it to read the values or color values from a file. The next mandatory line is entity ID. 
and this is the entity where we want to change the color. So for me, this will be light.wled underscore 2. Change it to whatever red, green, blue light you have or RGB. If you would save now this automation, it would work, but we can tweak it or make it even prettier. Because unfortunately, it will not be that wow, so whatever we can do to improve it will help. Let's add here transition. We can set it to 3 seconds, which means the transition from one color to the other will last 3 seconds. And the next option is brightness percentage. I will specify 200%, meaning that if the light is turned off, it will turn it on to 100% and change the color. If I would dim the light, the next time the automation is triggered, once again it would change to 100% brightness and the color. Let's save this. So we are now ready, but you still have to do one additional thing. If you are pushing your media to Chromecast devices, those Chromecast devices have the URL or extractor URLs that are located outside of your system. So you need to allow one additional thing. And what is that? Let me show you. If I now push one YouTube video to my Chromecast device, I would receive error in my log file. And let's see my log file. Ok, this is saved. Logs. You can see this error, external URL and this URL here is not allowed. Please add to allow list external URLs. So if we want to resolve this, we have to add allow list external URLs. I will copy it to our Visual Studio code, configuration file. And on the next line, add the URL. And this should be it. Just be sure that you are using allow list external URLs because maybe you already have allow external path and this is not the same. Next step, of course, is unfortunately to restart Home Assistant once again. In order for me to show you how this works, let's now go to Overview. Let me first show you how this light looks on the desk. I will put it to green and disable it. As you can see, my Loft TV is currently off, so here on the screen you can just see the default screensaver of the Chromecast. And from the YouTube, if I would now try to play a video on my Chromecast, you can see that something is loading. It should play now. And maybe you've missed it, but the light did turn on and it changed from green to whatever color this is. I've changed color now to blue. And once again, the color changed. You can see that this one is more of um, orange. Smart Home Makers is... Smart Home Makers is a blue color. Let me force the color to red. And let's play this video. Once again. And the color now is more of an orange. And this is it. I know, this is far from the perfect, but it does work. And Home Assistant is able to process the colors on the images that you provide path or URL to and change the lights according to that. It's all up to you to play with it. Remember, for this we are using Entity Picture Attribute in Chromecast Media Player. If you want to analyze something, you have to find Attribute or the sensor that gives you this image that can be processed. So, be creative. And this is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Tinker. I hope that this video did inspire you and that you will think of something on how to extend on this functionality, maybe using the stream for the camera, but most of my streams from the camera are black and white, so yeah, that wouldn't be interesting. If you have any idea or suggestion how this can be improved with the existing Home Assistant integrations, please let me know. You can always find me on the Discord server and the link to Discord server is down in the description of the video or post a comment here down in the comment section below. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future videos. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have 